Hi, I'm Dr. Massey and I'm going to talk to you about some of the preventative and wellness tests that we recommend on a yearly basis for your pet. And, uh, birds and uh, small mammals are prey animals, so they oftentimes do not show signs of illness until it's more severe. Out in the wild, these animals will go on and pretend that they're feeling fine because they don't want predators to pick them out of a flock of uh, birds or a group of rabbits and identify them as the ill uh, animal so that they don't get picked off earlier and they can maintain their status in their flock or their herd. So some of the tests that we're going to start with is what we recommend in some of our routine tests that we perform uh, on birds and other small mammals. One of the first tests that we will perform is a fecal and or fecal gram stain. A fecal will look for some intestinal parasites and evaluate whether or not your animal is at risk or is carrying any intestinal parasites. And a fecal gram stain can help us to determine if there's any abnormal ratios of bacteria and or a uh, higher population of yeast organisms. This might help us to identify if there are any serious illnesses going on in your pet. Now just because we don't oftentimes see intestinal parasites in birds uh, as such as our parrots doesn't mean that they're not carrying them. We recently had a case where there was a cockatiel that had a high worm burden and unfortunately passed away as a result of 100 roundworms being in the system. And you can see here all the little worms inside this jar that were impacted into this cockatiel's uh, colon. And he was unable, he was emaciated, and he was unable to process any nutrients and died as a result, unfortunately. So some preventative tests like this may have helped to find out the disease before it progressed to that point. A CBC, or complete blood count, is something that we do to look at the red blood cells and white blood cells of your pet. The red blood cells will help us to tell whether or not there's an anemia present or if there may be some levels of dehydration going on. And a white blood cell count can indicate whether or not it's likely if your pet has some type of infection or inflammation. We typically will take some blood, a small amount of blood for this procedure and we will put them in small tubes such as these and spin them down in order to get a complete blood count and we will look at slides and determine as far as whether or not there are elevated or normal white blood cells. A chemistry is a blood test that we use to evaluate organ system function of the liver's kidneys as well as picking up calcium and glucose levels to determine the health of your bird. What we typically will do is we will fill a small tube with blood and we will spin it down and separate the red blood cells from the serum and we will use that in order to determine um, what is going on with your pet. What we will do is we will fill some blood or serum into this disc and we'll spin and evaluate the different uh, things that we are looking at such as calcium levels or glucose levels and it'll evaluate some of the organ functions. A chemistry panel does not look at your bird's heart function. Another test that we may recommend would be a culture. A culture is what we use, it's a plate that we swab different areas of your pet such as your bird and we will check things such as the crop, the cloaca, and the feces for abnormal bacteria that should not be growing there. We will plate it in different sections on this culture plate and we'll stick it in an incubator for it to grow. This typically takes a minimum of three to five days for us to get any type of culture back and to determine what appropriate antibiotics can be used. Now when there is something growing on the culture, it will typically look something like this, where you can see that there are some bacteria growing on this culture and some yeast growing on this culture as well we grow the culture, we will typically put the bacteria onto a different plate and we will put little discs inserted into here that are impregnated with antibiotics. These little discs will tell us the degree to which bacteria is growing on this plate and will let us know which antibiotic may be most effective. If you have a new bird or you have a sick bird, one of the tests we may recommend is a psittacosis or chlamydia test. This is a screening test that checks for the zoonotic disease. Zoonotic means that the disease is transmissible from your pet to you, and it is a risk that we want to screen for so that you do not get sick. Typically, the signs include respiratory signs or gastrointestinal signs, and it can be seen in you and or your bird. So what we will typically do is take a blood sample 
and we will run that and send out a serology test. It checks for antibodies. This does not mean that your pet is definitively infected, but it does mean that your pet has been exposed. Certain factors such as illness in your bird, purchase where you purchased the bird or how long you've had it, or risks of exposure, for example, if your bird escaped and became in contact with wild birds, will indicate to us whether or not we should treat for this disease. If your bird does test positive for antibodies, a swab test can be performed to see if your bird is shedding the organism currently. This will check to find out whether or not the disease is potentially transmissible to you at that time. Infected birds can carry this disease without ever showing any signs of illness until a stressor brings it out, if it does bring it out at all. So this is sometimes why we will screen even a healthy looking bird to make sure whether or not they are carrying or have the potential to transmit this disease to you. This is another reason why we recommend that any new bird that you bring into your house, you should isolate from, uh, from your other birds for at least a minimum of six weeks. This means getting them into a different airspace so that you don't potentially infect your already present flock at your house. Because if your new bird tests positive for the disease, we may have to treat your whole flock, which can get quite expensive. There are some specialized tests that we may recommend for your bird if they are showing certain signs of illness. A bile acids test will check liver function. This will help to determine what is the best treatment for your bird if they are showing signs of liver disease. A lipoprotein panel will look at cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL, and LDL to determine what type of nutritional considerations we must take into account for your pet, as well as their risk of developing heart disease. A thyroid test will check thyroid function. Oftentimes we recommend this in feather picking cases or sometimes in GI cases where they are having a slowdown of the crop function or intestinal function. Radiographs or x-rays are oftentimes recommended to ID bony structures as well as heart size and other organ sizes. We will typically anesthetize your pet in order to get the best view and the most still view so that we can determine if there is a problem. And we will take two views of your pet's whole body or the area of interest. This is one view which we will check to evaluate the heart and liver size as well as the intestines. And then we will take a side view to evaluate it in another way. A barium series may be recommended if, the prob if a problem is seen, and it will help for us to delineate if it is gastrointestinal in origin or extra gastrointestinal in origin, such as the liver, kidney, or reproductive tract. In this barium series, you will see the highlighted white contrast material that's in the crop as well as the, his, this enlarged proventriculus, or the stomach. We will take a series of these views in order to help highlight different views of the intestinal tract. So this was a view that was taken several hours later where this, the barium has now passed into the intestines, so it highlights the intestines and we can see if there's any problems. Last but not least, one of the other common tests that we will recommend is an ultrasound. An ultrasound is typically recommended when we're evaluating for heart disease and to determine the function of the heart. While on an x-ray we can see and determine the size and make suggestions on whether or not the likelihood of heart disease, an ultrasound will give us a 3D view into the heart and the workings of the valves, which you cannot see on an x-ray. Another reason to perform an ultrasound would be to evaluate any uh, additional masses that are found on palpation, such as a mass in the stomach or the belly. That's an overview of some of the recommended tests that we will recommend for your pet for it as, as far as an annual basis or a wellness check, or if your pet is sick. This again will help us to prevent or determine causes of disease in your animal and help us to treat appropriately. Thank you for tuning in and if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call and talk to our receptionist and set up an appointment. Thank you.